welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Banana Republic factory outlet try on haul with two pieces from Abercrombie, which I have never shopped there for their clothes. I did pick up like an accessory a couple of months ago, what have you. But I'm excited to show you these two items that I picked up from Abercrombie. Like I said, it's not a store I generally go to, but I did want to share them with you. So let's get started. The first outfit you'll see here is this beautiful cropped wrapped blouse. Have a hard time with crop and I have a hard time with wraps, but I wanted to try this look and I paired it with these trousers from Abercrombie that are high-waisted. If you've been here for a while, you know that I'm short-waisted, high-rise, high-waisted doesn't generally feel comfortable for me, but I wanted to try this look. I have to say the pants are really very nice. They come in a ton of different colors, light pink, blue, your navy, your black, your neutral, which is what I have. I did get them in a six. I'm happy that I did that. If I went down, I think it would be really uncomfortable around my waist. So I'm glad I went with the size six. They feel really comfortable. They're almost like this like men's tailored look, but really comfortable, really nice. By the way, I didn't have a chance to steam any of these. I just wanted to get the video up. So please, you know, forgive me for that. So try not to focus on the wrinkles. Now, of course, now you're gonna focus on it naturally. But anyway, I should not have said anything. But these pants were really very nice. They come in short, regular, and tall, I think is how it, their sizing is. And I got them in the regular. Most of the time I'm wearing them with heels, so I like that they fall where they're supposed to. I've seen a lot of probably the younger generation wearing these with sneakers, you know, more of like that casual streetwear look. That's not my style, but it does look cute. Of course, I again, it's not for me. My intended purpose was for dress pants for work, and I really like them. I will go ahead and buy some other colors. I'm eyeing the black as well. The navy could be really nice. So now that I talked all about the pants, now let me go back to the blouse. This blouse, it is a lower v-neck and it has the balloon sleeves with a button cuff. Very nice. It has an invisible back zipper with just a straight hem and it is fully lined. Unfortunately, as much as I love the top, I went up to a six in this and I should have went with a size two because I think even the four may be even that much bigger. It was just really big up here, even though it was supposed to be more flowy, definitely will do at least the four. And so I'm hoping they still have it. I love the print. I love the color. Just something about that. When I saw it in the store, I was like, wow, that is so pretty. And what actually was striking to me when I walked into the store, the print was in a dress. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. But then I saw it in the top and I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna go with. I will say it does come in four different colors. I think it's like a black and nude. And then it has just like the green by itself, a solid green. And then it also has the print that I picked up. But I just wanted something different. I thought it spoke spring and vibrant. I just like the tone, even the taupe in it is something that I thought really balanced out the green and so that was my attraction to it. Let me know what you think about this look. I'm really a fan. I think it looks really pretty. Again, those pants. If you're looking for like a more trouser pant, I would suggest you check those out. Again, it's my first go around with Abercrombie and so far I'm a fan. So I did forget to mention that I will have all of my sizing listed in the description box as well as the size range for all the products. So if I fail to mention the size range um, as I'm going through these, please know you can always see it down there in the description box. The next item I have is this linen blend jumpsuit and I understand that jumpsuits aren't for everyone but I just had to try it. It just, there was something about it that I was like, oh, I think I could, you know, do some fun things with this, casual, dress it up, maybe even try to wear it to the office, maybe on a summer Friday type vibe. We'll see how I do with that. But nonetheless, I just thought it was really cute. It does have a pointed collar with cap sleeves and the epaulets on the shoulders. Really oversized front pockets, which I kind of like. It's just really loose. It's not 
form fitting or anything, right? So it's just meant to not be hugging everything. And I like that look. So I was like, I'm just gonna try it. And yeah, I could see you wearing it with some flats or like some sneakers probably more and then you can dress it up with a pair of heels. I think that you can really do a lot with this. And of course, if it's cooler out, you can obviously always wear a long sleeve, thin shirt underneath, you know, like a t-shirt underneath if you go in the casual route. So plenty of different options for it. I need your help. What do you think about this? Is it a keeper? Do I return it? Like Joni, what were you thinking? Like absolutely not. Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we have this V-neck dolman top, which I paired with some jeans, which I'll talk about in a moment. The top comes in many colors. It ranges from extra, extra small through XL. It has a V-neck front and back with the dolman sleeves as a center front seam. And it does have somewhat of like a slight curved hem, which is kind of nice. I style this with these jeans, which I'm sorry I did, honestly, I should have just went, which I had in my head when I saw it on the rack, oh, this would look really nice with some white denim. I don't know why I went the jeans route, but I think because they are from Abercrombie, I wanted to feature the jeans in this video. I said, oh, well, let me just pair it with that. So it's not really the right look, but I do like the top. It comes in many different colors. I think it's just a basic, simple top that you can dress up, dress down. I think it makes a nice staple piece. And I think, like I said, you can do a lot of different variations. You could wear it with a skirt or with jeans, but I would go more, more skinny jeans for me just because it is a little bit more loose fitting and you know, just to balance everything out. I think these jeans are a little too, too much material. And so it's not the right outfit, but I did want to still feature it in this video because I think both the pieces are really nice but styled differently. Let's talk about the jeans. The jeans come in two different washes. This is a medium wash but it does come in a light wash. It is, I think it's a mid-rise straight jean which is what caught my attention. It wasn't high rise so it was the mid-rise. I'm almost positive. I know for sure that's what it was. I'll just backtrack for a moment. Jeans are really hard for me to purchase and when I find what I like, I just run with it. These jeans are really very nice for a straight leg. Um, I've been a skinny denim for a long, long time. It's hard for me to get on that straight jean look. But last year, actually it may have even been like two years ago, I tried the ones from Old Navy. They're OG straight jeans or something. Those are really nice. I like those a lot and I continue to wear them still. They just fit me very well and they don't add a lot of bulk in the areas where I don't want that, which is what I think that these jeans do. So I'm not so sure I'm going to keep them, but you know, Abercrombie is, you know, known for their jeans. Like, you know, everybody, well, I guess the younger generation is all about them, but the quality is there. Everything is just Perfect. I also wanted to point out that it is a heavy denim, so there's some substance there in the material, whereas the ones from Old Navy are just much more, I'm going to say more relaxed. I don't find these as relaxed, and I think I prefer the Old Navy, but again, I still want to show them because I'm trying to say to myself, do I like them? Do I not like them? You know, uh, and so you guys let me know what your thoughts are on the fit of these for me. The shoes, I didn't talk about the shoes in my first outfit. Those are from Sam Edelman. They are beautiful shoes. I will have them linked below. Sam Edelman shoes are one of my favorite brands. They're just always so comfortable. They're true to size and I've always had great success. And then these are the shoes that I paired with the, um, with the jeans. Just a very simple, Neutral as well. We all know that the clear acrylic is still going strong. You can find them all over. I can leave a couple of links below. These, I don't know if they're still available. Amazon has great choices. Like they are all over the place. Um, and I just like the gradient, how it, you know, I just like the way it looks on the heel too. I hope you can see that. So if you want to talk about trends, that's a trend that's still going very strong with the clear, the clear acrylic look shoes. I will, like I said, I'll try and link a few different options for you. Next up is this utility denim midi shirt dress. Here's the thing. I saw it. I was like, denim, let me grab it. So I had the same experience with the dress as I did with the jeans. 
the dress is adorable. It's, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. It's too much for me. I cannot carry that. And it's also less relaxed than other denim dresses that I have. So it really is just too bulky, but I wanted to show it again because there's somebody out there that's going to love it. It has a point collar with long sleeves and button cuffs, button front closure, chest pockets, which, you know, can go either way. You know, if you're a bit more busty, you're not gonna want something with chest pockets. You're not gonna minimize, that's for sure. It does have a straight hem with some side slits. I paired them with some boots as opposed to just a pair of heels because I think that's what it really warranted because it's just a lot, if that makes sense. So to me, I wouldn't be able to wear these with flats or sneakers. You know, it would just swallow me. So I needed the height and I thought the boots were the best way to go. It's very nice. It does come in regular and tall. It just comes in this dark wash. So I know for sure this is going back. I would recommend it probably for someone who is over 5'5", five five. somebody who has some height to them. I think it would look much better on them. I'm 5'2", for reference, so I think you need a few inches to give the right look. Again, if you're a 5'3", and you think you can rock it, well then have at it, and you probably will do it beautifully. But for me, it was a little too much. The next up, switching gears and going back sort of to the jumpsuit, I got this utility dress, but in a shorter length. You can see the difference between the denim dress and this dress and just how different they look from the length. And obviously the styles are different and I understand that, but the length itself is a lot more forgiving on me in this shorter, in the shorter length. Not to say I can't wear maxis or long dresses or anything, but I don't know, I gotta get off of this denim dress already. It's like done, okay. But this is so adorable. I think this is one of those pieces, just like the jumpsuit, you can wear it with some flats or sneakers and then you can also dress it up. I could wear this to work very easily. It has a pointed collar, the epaulets on the shoulder, and just more utility like style, front chest pockets. The color is, I'm gonna say more of like a taupe color. I need to hear your thoughts on the way this looks on me because I have such an issue with belts. And yes, I am still going to do the short-waisted video for sure. Um, I was just trying to get some spring stuff out. But the belt is always the issue and I really didn't tie the belt properly. I was just, again, in the spirit of getting this video out, I just tied it really quickly. But if I took the time with it, I think it could look really cute. I can certainly make this work and I'm happy to play around with it. I just, I don't know. Um, sort of again on the fence. As I'm seeing these utility styles in the stores, it was drawing me to picking them up because they're different. I mean, they've been around for a long time, obviously, but it's not my go-to. And because I keep seeing them every time I turn the corner, I was like, I just need to see how they look. I just need to try them because, you know, you wanna change up your style every so often, and I don't know. Let me know which one you like better, the jumpsuit or the dress. If you had to pick for me, which one do you like? Because I'm on the fence, and maybe you'll say neither of them, and that's okay too, because I'm just usually just a nice maxi, you know, a tiered maxi dress, or more like a t-shirt dress or something. So this isn't generally my style dress. I like a shirt dress, but the utility component of it is I'm a little indecisive on. The next look we have here are these sculpted boot cut pants in that beautiful like brownish terracotta tone to it. So, so pretty. Linen-like feel, 97% polyester, 3% spandex. But again, I'm looking at workwear these are perfect. I love the color. I wish they came in some lighter colors and even maybe like a pale pink or something like that going into spring. But you know, this is, this is neutral. I could do this. I do have it paired with this camisole, which is giving in my mind a little bit more like fall like look. But if I changed out the cami and just put, you know, a lighter color, just a solid color, and maybe just a blazer on top or something. It can truly carry me into the spring and summer. I'm not guided by the color per se, but certainly 
it is one of those colors that you tend to think that it's more fall-like, but the material is really comfortable. I like the way they fit. They were comfortable around my waist and completely different from the trousers from Abercrombie where they have some weight to them. These are on the lighter side and I just like the way they fall. The only drawback is they only have this one color, so maybe they'll bring in some others. And then I topped it, which is not how I would wear it, but I did top it with this vegan leather coat. The color gets me. I love the cognac color. It's beautiful. It's a nice coat. It's not heavy, but you know, it's there, if that makes sense. I love the wide pockets in the front the belted waist. I was having trouble tying that too, but the coat itself is really, really pretty. This is a coat that's so versatile that I could see myself wearing to work. Now, I could wear it with the pencil skirt that I'm about to show you with some denim, some white jeans, black jeans. I think it would look so sharp and I just can't wait to style it in so many different ways. Again, I just put it on with this outfit, not my intended way that I would necessarily wear it, but I did just want to feature it. Like the pants, as far as I know, it's the only color that coat comes in. I generally don't wear skirts. I, I like them. I've had skirt suits. I've had, you know, just all different types of skirts, but a lot of times I don't like them because, again, because of the short waist, I feel like it cuts me. But I've kind of gotten past that and really have thought about different ways in which to wear a skirt that makes the illusion that I have a longer torso and the go-to most likely would be the monochromatic look, right? And the top that you wear with it. So if you're wearing that mono look, it's going to create this illusion that things are all symmetrical when they're not. The pencil skirt is really nice. It's a nice lightweight material. It feels good. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's your traditional pencil skirt but a classic as far as I'm concerned. And honestly, I had none in my closet. So I know I'm going to be keeping this. And then here you can see that I paired the skirt with this wrapped blouse. It's not from Banana, it is from Express Factory. I really have done very well in Express and Express Factory. Unfortunately, I don't show my Express Factory hauls because they don't have an online presence. The regular express store does, obviously, but the factory does not. No, it's hard to show you pieces from there when, in fact, I can't link anything for you. You know, I don't like to really highlight express pieces for that reason. However, I'm showing you this because another spring trend are polka dots. And this blouse was just one of those tops that spoke to me. Who doesn't like black and white and the polka dots? it was calling my name. I think it's an adorable top. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because it, I'm not gonna be able to link it for you, but the polka dots are adorable. The top itself is beautiful. You can wear it with the skirt and then you can also wear it with a pair of jeans, maybe even like a white denim, black denim would look really pretty and dress it up or just wear it on the more casual side with a pair of flats and you know, meeting your friends for lunch or something. But I just love the top and I just had to show it. I paired it with the same slides I had on from earlier. I like the nude slide. You cannot go wrong with the nude shoe. Nothing is going to look bad with a nude shoe. But a black shoe with this, yes, I could have gotten away with it for sure. But especially this time of year, I wouldn't do black with no pantyhose. If I had pantyhose, at least it would be more you know, the silhouette, everything would have come together from top to bottom. Whereas right now it's my bare leg showing and the nude is closer to my skin tone. And that's sort of my approach on, on the color of the shoes that I'm picking. And I also picked up this adorable sleeveless black top that I just thought was so cute. I do have it paired with the jeans that are higher waisted, but certainly this is a top that even though it's a little bit more crop and boxy, it's not going to show any skin or anything. I mean, of course, if you're lifting your arm, yes, then that will be a thing. But overall, it just hits at the right length, at least on me. I tried to show you, I hope you can see in the clip, 
that it just has this eyelet look around right above the hem, which I think is just adorable. It's just a nice little detail. It looks really cute. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but trust me, it's there, and it's just the right detail for that plain black button-down shirt. Let me know what you think about that as well. All right, everyone, so that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some cute pieces. Please comment down below all your comments whether you like you don't like what you're looking for what videos you'd like to see coming in the future and i will see you all in my next video thanks for watching